So tonight we are going to take you on a little bit more in-depth look into life here at the White Ghetto. Well, since we can't leave the couch, we decided to do a video with facts about us. We're bringing the rest of the house to you, to the couch. Mm -hmm. Well, we really couldn't, oh well, this is both of us. We really couldn't tell you about life in this house without talking about candy. Our candy obsession. It's kind of outrageous. Yeah, that's... I had to go on a candy run tonight at 11 o'clock. Uh, Walgreens, about a block and a half away, is... Cheapest candy ever. The best. Gotta go. I mean, Rainbow Nerds <laughs> have made... Gobstoppers? Fabulous. Chocolate and caramel. Yeah. Ooh. Strawberry Ooh. Whoppers. If you haven't tried them yet, you gotta try them. Reese's. I'm gonna have some right now. And kisses and bolos. Mm. Sorry. <laughs> Get really excited. Yeah. Um, it's a pretty much constant ordeal eating candy. So yeah, oh, it's strawberry. That's one little piece of information. Yeah. So there you go. That's it. Okay, so my obsession with friends began. I don't know. It was a long time ago. Quite a few years. Anyway, since forever. Yeah. Actually, I think I was deprived because my parents wouldn't let me watch it when it was actually on. Is that what this is about? I think so. My word. But my sister was really actually the one who was obsessed first. And so she started collecting all these DVDs. And since she's homeless and lives out of her car, I get to keep them. Wow. So, we don't have TV right now. And movies kind of get old. And this is kind of like TV, so this is what we watch all the time. Friends. Mm. Yeah. See, with more friends. Throw some Arrested Development oh, yeah, stuff in there. there too. Yeah. But friends, we have so many quotes that come from friends around this house. It's kind of scary. I had seen like eighty percent of it before I moved in here a month ago, and now I'm quoting it like crazy with Jamie because. That's what but we watch. It's so great because it's like they're your friends too. You like <laughs> you like grow up with them. Seriously. It's like you know them. Sorry, this is not a joking matter. <laughs> um I wanna know Matt LeBlanc. Mm. Call me. That's Joey, by the way. I like books a lot, and I have a bookshelf, which is like right up there that's not close to full yet because Here, I'll I'll show you. Uh, Wait. Up, up, more. up, up. How am I doing this? <laughs> there you go, see? Yeah. Well, anyway. That's my bookshelf. It's not even close to full yet because I don't know where the boxes of the rest of my books are. But I'm going to find them. But I, did, I have a lot of books too. I did. Yeah, Jamie has a big bookshelf in her room too. Um, one of my big obsessions is blank books. And I have every blank book I've ever had since I was 16. And right now I currently have three in operation. This one is my most recent. Uh, has my What Made Milwaukee Famous sticker that I got at the concert a couple months ago on it. And I picked this up in the Newark airport. This one, uh, my daughter picked out but abandoned. And <laughs> so I took over it. But it came from the Denver Zoo, I think. And then this one was a gift from my cousin Anna, and it's my favorite. Let me see if it'll show up. Oh, it's Tim Burton's Pincushion mm. Queen. That's me. Yeah, that's cute. That's I me. Like that. 
And the poem is, look at the heart, too. I like mm-hmm. that, too. She's a Tim Burton girl, and her little poem is, Life isn't easy for the pin cushion queen. When she sits on her throne, pins push through her spleen. Yeah. That's me. Oh, and I also have many books that I've had since I was in elementary school. For instance, this baby is my copy of Where the Sidewalk Ends that I have had since I was six years old. I didn't know you had that. Yes, I do. And you can see how I scribbled my name and probably some boys that I loved and stuff on the inside. As well as phone number six my phone number A three two one seven six nine three two one seven one six oh seven area code. In New York. Yeah. And uh so yeah, this is one of my prized possessions. And so that's me, I like books a lot. Okay, so I have these really creepy dolls that I've had since I was really, really little. They weren't creepy at the beginning. No, they weren't creepy forever, okay? They're creepy now. But here, I have two of them. Here's the boy, and oh, here's the girl. Me. See, now, the girl still looks kind of cool. The boy, though, See his face? <laughs> yeah, it's um, it was mauled by my dog in high school. So that's why he looks more creepy. But what's even more creepy about these dolls is that they have these little wind-up things on their back like this. And it's supposed to wind up and it's supposed to play a song. And then their heads spin around and play the song. But now all they do is this. So that's what's kind of creepy. My friends think it's really creepy, but it worked out pretty good for me. It worked out pretty good for me because I used them for this really cool photography project that I had. Ew, I'm gonna have to take that out. Yeah, don't do that. But it's really cool because the pictures turned out really cool and creepy. Can you see that? Does that work? Yeah? Yeah. Anyway. They're really cool and I got an A on my project. Jamie's pretty much the best photographer ever. Well, it's I'm probably a little known fact. I actually took that picture with this camera that I made. Out of a cardboard box. Yeah. It's all a pinhole camera. See? Yeah. It's pretty cool. I love it. Anyway. There you go. This guy has taken a lot of abuse over the years, but I'm pretty proud of it. Because this was given to me by my dad, which was given to him directly from the person who handmade it, and that person was a drummer of the 13 Four Elevators, legendary Texas band. I love this thing. So yeah, I don't really know how to play the drums, but so what? I have this drum. It's pretty cool, I guess. It was made by the drummer of the 13 Four Elevators, and if you don't know who that is, look it up. What do I look like? Wikipedia? Do your own research. Sessions? Oh, God, no, man.